All right, so 4.6 Savage here, and we're going to talk about my new wideband I just installed. It's an Innovate uh, Motorsports LC1 with DB gauge. As you can see when I turn it on, it blinks like that. It's not the cleanest um, install that I could ever do, but I, I'm in a time crunch, so I did it. So basically, the gauge is sitting up on dash pod like, it, like my... Uh, old air fuel ratio was so we'll go underneath here of course i don't have light but right underneath here is the controller and then it runs in now the neat thing about this air fuel ratio wideband is um it allows you to use the stock ports for uh, the o2 sensors so you do not have to put another bung in um this allows for um it has a setting on it where you run a wire to the um computer and the computer reads it as a narrow band so you have a wide band gauge that also feeds the computer now if i wanted to i could do this for both sides and i'm thinking about doing that but so far i haven't needed to but um the wide band was very easy to install I uh, I had existing wiring from my tack and I installed the tack, but um, let me pull it out of the garage here and we'll uh, watch the gauge. So open the door. This is my other project over there right now. So many projects. When you first started out. Start it up, it will blink because it's heating the O2 sensor up. be another one of my videos that is coming up um well that's thanks uh thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe